Have you run into a critter like this? Where I come from, it's called a mosquito hawk because of their large size and their predilection for eating mosquitoes. And even though they're big and scared me as a kid, my dad taught me to leave them alone so they'd keep the skeeters at bay. But some people claim the opposite in saying that these are actually themselves giant mosquitoes with a terrible bite. Some say they have a venomous bite, although they're rumored to be unable to break human skin. But actually, as I got older, I learned that none of those stories are true. This animal, called a crane fly by entomologists, is actually a gentle giant that can't harm humans or other bugs. And in fact, their mouths can't even bite down. They can drink liquid, including dew or sometimes nectar, but otherwise they eat nothing at all as adults. And instead, they live most of their lives as larvae and only emerge as winged insects for a few days to mate and lay eggs. There are 15,000 species of crane flies, and they have lots of local names. Besides crane flies and mosquito hawks, in Britain they're called daddy longlegs, although for me, that name goes for a harvestman arachnid. Other people call them jenny longlegs, or skeeter eaters, or jimmy spinners, or golly whoppers, or gallinippers, or skinny phillips in Ireland, supposedly. Crane flies are members of the superfamily Tipuloidea. This name comes from Latin tipula, meaning a water spider or a water strider, which are also known for their long, thin legs. And lots of crane fly species are members of genus Tipula. What I get from most of these names is that people really just focus on their long, skinny legs and don't really pay attention to the rest of the animal. That's how you get creatures as diverse as cranes, spiders, harvestmen, and mosquitoes all having related names. For the etymology of a particular species, how about Holoruja hespera, the giant western crane fly, which can have a wingspan of 70 millimeters. The specific name hespera comes from Latin hesperus, which is borrowed from Greek hesperos, meaning western, but also the evening because the sun sets in the west. The root also gives us the word vesper, the evening star. Hesperia was the land of the west, meaning Italy, as far as the ancient Greeks were concerned. But for the crane fly, it means the Western Hemisphere, including North America. I tried pretty hard to figure out what exactly Holoruja means, and I'm still not sure. I know the name was chosen by a German entomologist named Lowe in the mid-1800s, but as far as I can tell, he never explained what he meant by it. My best guess is that the Greek roots holo for complete and rusha for russia go together to mean something like total russia? But it doesn't really make sense because this genus is barely found in Russia. And personally, I think it's a bit ridiculous for us to keep using a name without a record of why it was chosen. What do they call crane flies in your part of the world?